paella, the essence of Spanish cuisine. You know, there's nothing more rewarding than serving up a well-made paella. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make an amazing seafood paella. This paella has the perfect combination of seafood and other ingredients to create an explosion of flavors while keeping the rice as the star of the dish as it should be. Okay, this is a lot of fun to make and stick around because I'm gonna show you guys how to make the socorrat, which is that layer of burnt rice in the bottom of the pan. This video is made in collaboration with Alicia over at Best Bites Forever. She is such an amazing chef. She's got a lot of great recipes in her channel and she's also gonna be making a paella. So make sure you go watch her channel, check out her videos, especially the paella one. I'm so excited to see it. You're gonna find a link to her channel in the description box below or I card above. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut up all my ingredients. That way when I fire up the paella pan, this is gonna be easy to make. I'm gonna finely mince three cloves of garlic, finely dice half of an onion, and dice half of a red bell pepper. Then I'm gonna grab a clean tube of squid, cut it open, cut it in half, and then cut it into some small squares. And we're also gonna reserve 12 jumbo shrimp that have been peeled and deveined, and eight fresh mussels that I've already cleaned. I just took the beards off them, rinsed them under cold water, and scrubbed them. Okay, now we can start cooking our paella. I'm gonna be using an authentic paella pan. If you don't have one of these, you can use a large frying pan. I'm gonna heat it with a medium high heat, and I'm gonna add one third cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Once the oil gets hot, we're gonna season it with some sea salt. And now we're gonna add our cut squid. After cooking the squid for about two minutes, let's remove it from the pan. I'm gonna transfer it into a plate. Now we're gonna add the diced onions and the minced garlic and mix it in there. In about a minute after adding our garlic and onions, let's add our bell peppers. About three minutes after adding our bell pepper, I'm gonna add half a cup of tomato puree. Season it generously with sea salt, a dash of freshly cracked black pepper, and a generous half teaspoon of smoked paprika, and mix it all together. About two minutes after adding the tomato puree, let's return the squid back to the pan. Mix it in there, and add two and a half cups of fish broth. I'm gonna add some saffron in powder form. You can find these on amazon.com. I'm gonna leave my affiliate link in the description box below. And we're gonna gently mix this together. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna be adding one cup of round rice. Very important to use round rice when you're making paella. I'm gonna pour the rice all over and then I'm gonna gently mix it so it's evenly distributed. Five minutes after adding the rice, I'm gonna start adding the shrimp and the fresh mussels. And at this point, you don't wanna stir the rice anymore. You can just give the pan a quick shake once in a while. Five minutes after adding our shrimp and our mussels, we're gonna lower the fire to a low medium heat. Okay, our broth has been simmering on low medium heat for about 10 minutes and there's very little broth left. So at this point, I'm gonna show you guys how to make that sohra, which is that crusty burnt rice in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna hit it to a medium high heat for exactly one minute. Then I'm gonna turn off the heat, cover the paella, and let it rest between five to seven minutes. After leaving our paella to rest between five to seven minutes, it's ready to go. I'm gonna take off the cover and unveil it and see what we got in there. And then I'm gonna garnish it with some fresh parsley and a couple wedges of lemon. Okay, before I give this a try, I'm gonna show you guys that socorra I was telling you about. It's kind of scraped through the bottom. And you get that little burnt rice right there. That is the best part of a paella right there. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. Salud. It's so good. I tell you all the flavors from everything went into each grain of rice, including the olive oil. What a fantastic flavor to this. Before I go, I'm gonna try one of these mussels. Let you know how these guys came out. Salud. 
it's so good. This is such a fantastic paella. It's a seafood paella. That is my personal favorite one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And also, I'd like to thank Alicia at Best Bites Forever for doing this collaboration with me. Guys, remember to go check out her video on her making the paella. You see, you know, subscribe to her channel, check her out, she's awesome. You'll find a link to her channel, description box below or iCard above. Until the next time, hasta luego.